Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Naval developments are sometimes incredible and amazing. Unique ships, rockets, and more. Today, we will show you a Swedish Corvette, talk about the advantages of an unmanned patrol boat, and also find out the main characteristics of the new anti-ship missile system. This is a selection of the 10 best naval developments in the world. AQS-20 The AQS-20 is a sonar mine countermeasure detection system developed by Raytheon. The system was initially tested for use on the MH-60S and MH-53E helicopters and is part of the mission package for the literal combat ships and some United States Navy destroyers of the Arleigh Burke class. However, the Chief of Naval Operations excluded the system from use on helicopter assets in March 2012. The Q-20, as it is commonly called, is an underwater towed body containing a high-resolution, side-looking, multi-beam sonar system used for mine hunting along the ocean bottom. This rapidly deployable system provides real-time sonar images to operators to locate, classify, mark, and record mine-like objects and underwater terrain features. Once located, the exact coordinates of mine-like objects can be used by explosive ordnance disposal personnel to reacquire and neutralize the mine. RBS-15 Gungner RBS-15 Gungner is the next-generation missile in the RBS-15 family of anti-ship missile systems offered by Saab Group. The missile is designed to dominate the literal environment and offer a long-lasting and adaptable solution to address the future defense needs of naval, land, and air forces across the world. The versatile capabilities of RBS-15 Gugner Missile Solution enable the operators to use it in three different configurations, which include an air-launched, ship-launched, and land-based configuration. The warhead placed in the middle of the missile weighs approximately 200 kilograms. The highly destructive warhead can destroy any kind of vessel. The propulsion system enables the missile to travel at a high subsonic speed of 685 miles per hour. The range of the missile is more than 186 miles, which is greater than that of other missiles in the RBS-15 family. Visby The Visby class of stealth corvettes was built for the Swedish Navy by the Swedish company Kakums, a part of Saab. The Visby Corvette incorporates genuine holistic stealth, ghost technology, which offers enhanced survivability and improved mission effectiveness. Visby vessels were not initially fitted with an air defense missile system, but could later be equipped with one. It has been reported that the Swedish government has selected the Umkanto surface-to-air missile system produced by Danel of South Africa. Umkanto has infrared guidance, range of 12 kilometers, and a ceiling of 10,000 meters. The motors provide a maximum speed of 17 miles per hour for long duration and 40 miles per hour for short duration. The ship has rudders and bow thrusters for harbor maneuvering. F-125 F-125 is a multi-role frigate designed and built by ARG F-125 Consortium for the German Navy. The German Navy's latest F-125 frigates can be deployed worldwide for up to two years before returning to the home base. The F-125 frigate is equipped for defense against both air attack and land attack. It is armed with non-lethal weapons such as water cannons and searchlights for non-provocative deterrence and protection. Two quadruple missile launchers for the Boeing RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile are installed on the missile deck, forward of the funnel. The F-125 has also two 21-cell Mark 49 launchers armed with the Raytheon RAM-116 rolling airframe missile. The propulsion system allows the vessel to sail at a maximum speed of more than 30 miles per hour. It has a range of more than 69,000 miles at 14 miles per hour.
Pola 101 Damon Shipyard's group has delivered the long-range Ocean Patrol-class vessel Arm Reformador, Pola 101, to the Mexican Navy. The 107-meter-long vessel has been delivered less than three years after signing the contract. The Navy can use the vessel for safeguarding Mexican sovereignty, international security cooperation, law enforcement, and for other missions such as long-range search and rescue operations and humanitarian aid. The primary weapon systems fitted on board the vessel will be a Ram Block II surface-to-air missile launcher and Harpoon surface-to-surface -surface missile launchers. The forward bow deck will be installed with a 57mm main gun. Other gun systems on board the vessel will include two Mark 38 25mm remotely controlled machine guns and six 12.7mm M2 machine guns. Katana The Katana is a high-speed unmanned surface vehicle developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. The Katana has a modular and flexible architecture that allows adaptation to the customer and mission requirements. The Katana unmanned surface vessel system could be installed on different vessels that serve different missions. The Katana system supports dual-mode operations, meaning that the same vessel could be operated as a USV or as a manned platform with a simple and quick switchover. Using the Katana, some missions could be executed remotely and without risk to own forces. The USV is 39 feet long and 9 feet wide and is able to reach a speed of 60 knots, over 68 miles per hour. The craft is driven by two 560 horsepower diesel engines and can deploy a variety of non-lethal countermeasures, stun grenades, and obscurance, smoke. Vityaz D Vityaz D is a new autonomous underwater vehicle manufactured by Central Design Bureau for Marine Engineering, Rubin. The vehicle is the world's first fully autonomous unmanned underwater vehicle that reached the world's ocean's deepest point, the Mariana Trench, 11,022 meters. The underwater vehicle is also capable of conducting search and bathymetric survey of the area, sonar survey of the bottom topography, as well as measuring hydrophysical parameters of the marine environment. The underwater drone can be deployed in search and research missions on the seabed layer, as well as on the bottom of oceans at depths of up to 12,000 meters. The underwater vehicle is powered by four main electric power units and 10 electric thrusters. The submerged speed of the Vityaz D vehicle is one meter a second, while the maximum endurance is 24 hours. Shaldag Mark II The Shaldag-class fast patrol boats are built by Israel Shipyards Limited to meet the challenging coastal security requirements of navies across the globe. Also deployable by the Coast Guard and Border Police units, the patrol boat is specifically designed to offer immediate response and a high-speed interception during emergency situations. The Shaldag-class can support a range of missions such as maritime patrol, interception of terrorist activities, drug trafficking, prevention of illegal immigration, and search and rescue operations. The fast patrol boat can be armed with a 23mm to 25mm Typhoon automatic gun, two 12.7mm or 7.62mm mini Typhoon heavy machine guns, and other manually operated guns of similar configuration. It can also carry up to eight short-range anti-ship missiles to engage targets at sea or on the coastline. The Shaldag Mark II has a maximum speed of 52 miles per hour. PPA Italian Navy plans to induct seven PPA-class multi-role offshore patrol vessels by 2026. Fincantieri, an Italian shipbuilding company, is the prime contractor for the PPA-class vessels, which received the seven PPAs order in 2015. The patrol boats can perform a range of missions in Italy's territorial waters. The primary missions include patrolling, surface combat, anti-piracy, monitoring, 
protection and control of maritime zones, and rescue of personnel in distress. The PPA-class offshore patrol vessels will be armed with OTO Malara 127-64LW high-caliber Volcano gun system, main armament, and OTO Malara 7662 medium-caliber gun mounts for defense against surface, airborne, maritime, and asymmetric targets. The PPA can achieve a maximum speed of more than 37 miles per hour and a range of 5,800 miles. LCS The Littoral Combat Ship LCS, is a new family of surface ships for the U.S. Navy. The LCS is a fast, highly maneuverable, networked surface combat ship, which is a specialized variant of the family of U.S. future surface combat ships. Currently, within the framework of the LCS program, two projects of coastal ships have been developed. The two designs are quite different, although both satisfy the top-level performance requirements and technical requirements of the LCS program. The Lockheed Martin Freedom Class design is a high-speed, semi-planing monohull. The General Dynamics Independence Class design is a trimmerin with a slender stabilized monohull. Both General Dynamics and Lockheed Martin vessels are armed with BAE Systems land and armaments, formerly United Defense Mark 110 57mm naval gun system. The Mark 110 fires Mark 295 ammunition at a rate of 220 rounds a minute to a range of 14 kilometers, 9 miles. A 10-foot full-load displacement draft allows the ships to access very shallow waters. Ships have a top speed of 58 miles per hour, and the range at sprint speed is 1,700 miles. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the naval developments you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.